The goal for this video is to achieve milestone one for building our app, which is to display the list of titles of each user map. We're going to display this in a recycler view, and I have an extensive video about the reason to use a recycler view and what the benefits are. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but if you're interested, I'll leave a link to that in the description. In order to make this go faster, I'm going to provide you with some dummy data so you can have something similar to what you're seeing on the screen here. Let's start with opening up Android Studio and create a new Android Studio project. Start with empty activity, and let's call this My Maps as a name. The language is Kotlin, and the minimum API level is fine, and then let's tap on finish. So initially, Android Studio is gonna take a bit of time to build your project. The very first thing I like to do whenever I create a new project is just to run the app and make sure that we see hello world properly because that'll give us a guarantee that we're starting at a known good place and anything we build on top of that uh, we know how to get back to something which is working. I'm going to tap on this green triangle in order to run the app. We are able to see hello world properly which is what we get from the empty activity starter project. The next thing I'll do is instead of showing hello world in the underlying view for the main activity which is activity main.xml we don't want to show hello world we want to just show a recycler view and the recycler view will hold all of the titles of the maps. So I'm going to expand this to give ourselves a bit more room, get rid of hello world, and then we're going to drag out a recycler view. So recycler view needs a dependency so then Android Studio can help add that dependency into your build.gradle file. And I've noticed sometimes that when you initially drag out the recycler view onto the view, the attributes tab doesn't open up. And one way to remedy that that I found is if you just run the app, then Android Studio picks up the change and then it's able to show you this attributes tab. So once you're able to see that, then you can set the width and height to be match parent because we want to fill up the whole view with the recycler view. And also will give us an ID of RV map. So RV means recycler view. So now that we have an ID, we can reference this recycler view inside of main activity. So there are two things we want to set on the recycler view. One is the layout manager and the other is the adapter. I'll leave links to the prior videos about Recycler View if you want a deeper dive. But as a quick overview, Layout Manager is, a, is responsible for telling the Recycler View how to lay out the views on the screen. So either in a grid, staggered grid, or a vertical linear layout manager, or a horizontal linear layout manager. And the adapter is responsible for taking the data, so in our case, the user maps, and binding it to a particular view in the Recycler View. In order to make the adapter part work, one thing that's obviously very important is the data. And in general, data is actually really important for any app you build because typically the way you structure your app and the way navigation will work in your app will all really depend on the data. So that's something that we're going to define right now. So I'm gonna change the view of the project to be the Android view just because I'm more, more familiar with that. Let's define a new package called models. And the obvious model that we have in our app is a user map model. And the user map represents a map that the user has created. So this is going to be a data class in Kotlin. And the idea here is that we want to put the attributes of the user map inside of the data class. One thing that every user map must have is a title. So we'll say val title. And this is going to be of type string. And then the second thing a user map must have is a list of markers. And each marker really represents a place. We want another attribute called places, and this is going to represent a list of place. And place is going to be another model that we define inside of our models package. Place, if you remember from our demo, a place is a marker which is at a particular location on the map. When you tap on that, we show a title and a description for what is located there. So we'll have a title, which will be of type string, and a description, also of type string. And then we want to specify the location. The location will be represented as a latitude and longitude, each of which will be a double.
Great, so now that we've defined place, we can go back to user map and we should be able to resolve the error. Now that we have the models defined, it will help us to set up our adapter. So the layout manager is actually pretty simple. Let's do that first. So all we want to do is set a layout manager on the recycler view. So we'll say uh, we're going to use a linear layout manager. And by default, you pass in a context, which is the activity. And it'll be a vertical layout manager by default, which is what we want. Next, we want to set the adapter. We're going to define a new class called maps adapter. And it will take in two parameters, one which is a context, this, and a second which is our data, which will be a list of user map. So for now, I'm just going to pass an empty list of user map. And eventually, we're going to actually put in some actual data there. We can have Android Studio help us to create this maps adapter class. So I want it to be in the same package as main activity, but that's fine. So Android Studio tried to be helpful and give us meaningful names for each of the constructor parameters. It didn't do that great a job, so let's help it out. So the first parameter will be a context, which will be of type context, and the second parameter will be a list of user maps, which we're going to call user maps. This, is, this inherits from recycler view adapter, and that is parameterized by a view holder. So I'm going to define an inner class view holder, which is inheriting from the recycler view view holder. And this needs to match the constructor of the parent class, which takes an item view. So now I can reference this view holder here. Now we're able to implement the abstract methods of the adapter class. There are three methods. We're going to implement all of them. And my personal preference is I like to have the view holder at the very bottom of the class. The easiest method to implement is get item count because literally all we need to do is get the size of the user maps. That's how many items we have in our recycler view or in our data set. Next is on create view holder. The job here is to inflate the view and wrap that inside of a view holder. So we'll say layout inflator dot from, and we need to pass in a context here and we need to inflate the layout. So instead of defining our own custom view, we're going to leverage Android's built-in layouts. So there's one of them which is called simple list. Simple list item one. And so we're going to inflate that view and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But we want to wrap the inflated view inside of a view holder. On bind view holder, the job is to grab the data which is at this position and then attach it or bind it into the view which is located inside of the view holder. So getting the user map at that position is easy because we just index into our user maps. And then binding it is also pretty easy. This is where we need to look inside what is this layout. So if I go into the definition of that, you can see that it's really simple. It's a text view and it has an ID of text one. And there's some other things like padding and gravity that we don't care about right now. Basically, all this is for our purposes is the text view, and we can use that to go a little bit faster at this stage. So going back into map adapter, we know that the ID is text one. So now we can um, grab that text view. So we'll say val text view title is equal to holder dot item view and grab that view. And in order to reference that ID, we need to say Android dot R id because it's coming from the android sdk and then we want to set the text attribute of that text view to be the title of the user map okay let's run the app and we don't expect anything really to change because we, we're not actually providing any data to the adapter but we should see just an empty screen and there you see that we do what we'd like is to have some data to work with it's not that hard to actually generate your own sample data but in order to speed up the process, you can feel free to use the data that I provide you. So here's a gist from GitHub. So tap on raw and you're, you should be able to copy and paste this directly into your main activity file. So let me quickly walk you through this. So there's a, a method here called generate sample data, which returns a list of user map. And all we're doing here is we're using Kotlin to make this really concise. We have a list of, and we're providing a bunch of different user maps. And each user map consists of the attributes that we've already defined 
in our data class. So the title and a list of places. So for example, here we have a title of the map as Memories from University, and we're containing a list of three places, Branner Hall, Gates Computer Science Building, and Pinkberry, uh, with a description and a latitude longitude. So now we should be able to call this method. I'll say user maps. And now this can be the data that we pass into our adapter. So now that we have some sample data, when I run the app again, we should now see the titles. And there you can see we do. And nothing else happens if I nothing happens if I tap on it, which makes sense. That will be the goal for the next video. If you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.